Gary, as away day performances go, that was pretty impressive, wasn't it? No, we were very good today. We followed, um, we had a game plan and we followed it to pretty much, pretty much the, le the letter that we wanted to, um, that we envisaged. Um, so no, that was pleasing. And, and we got our just rewards again today. We got um, an important win um, for the players in terms of our progression, um, the improvements that, that I want to see from the players, which we've had in every game. But today was probably more for the whole length of the game. So, um, so no, it was pleasing to see and um, obviously to get the three points, very good goals, um, a really good team performance, um, obviously has to be pleasing. And looking at it, um, you made four changes again today. You brought in Bridcut alongside Vieira. You seemed to really bring the best out of young Vieira today. Mm. No, I thought all of the team. I thought everyone. Um, like I said, I always pick a team or a squad that I feel that can follow the game plan that we have for each game and, and take it out there onto the pitch. And like I said at the start, you know, we're, we're still not the team that we want to be. We've still got a long way to go, but I think each day and each game that we've had, we've made those small steps. You know, and it takes time with these young players, and we've improved with every game. Um, and today was another improvement, and that's the most important bit. But we're still not the team we want to be. But today, in today's performance and things like that, those type of performances will give them the belief that what you know, which you can see in them, they believe in what they're doing and what we're following, and and that we know, given time, the potential that we have. You can see the potential in the team. So um, um, that will get better. But we know this league is unforgiving. It can get set back. Which there will be setbacks at times, but that consistency of performance, you've seen it coming, in, especially in the last couple of games. You said you wanted toughness from your team. You were first to every loose ball, really, weren't you today? Well, derby games tend to. Um, something I spoke to the group about. Um, obviously, experiencing them as a player and as a manager. Um, derby games always have that extra, extra bit of spice to them. It was a great atmosphere today. It was a big crowd, um, but we were very focused on our on our jobs today, our game plan, and we followed it very very well and um, like you said defensively we were excellent tactically we were very good defensively and offensively we were dangerous we played in a certain way offensively because we knew we could hurt them um, in certain elements and I think we were very dangerous and we had probably I think for sure we had the best opportunities in the game and, and we looked very dangerous when we attacked so um, to get the goals which we deserved and, and, and we were the better team today um, and we're playing against a very good side in Sheffield Wednesday who um, have had an excellent season last year and um, or a benchmark for the league as well, so um, no, it would be a good boost again, another improvement for the players. It's not often both Leeds United strikers score, I think it's four in 50 odd games or something. How pleased are you for both Antonson and Wood to get their goals today? Yeah, strikers thrive off goals, we all know that. So um, for them to get a couple of goals, work together very, very well, which I think they did today. But really it was the team performance today, it was, it was no individuals, it was a very much a team performance which I work very hard with the players and my staff to, to develop. and. Um, I think it was another improved performance. I don't think it was being critical as a manager as you are. I don't think it was the perfect performance. I don't think we're still not the team that I want us to be, but we're, um, we're getting there and we're making small steps and that's the most important bit. And you can see how focused and how infused the players are in, in making those improvements. So that's the most important part. There'll be no qualms about Chris Wood's celebration today, I don't think, will there? <laughs> no, it was um, a deserved goal. Very, our goals were quality. They were full of quality. Um, Today and we had other opportunities where our build-up play and our, our, um, our chances, shall I say, were with quality. We arrived in their box with quality, which was which was good to see. Probably not as clinical as I would like, but um, that's that's me being greedy or being hypercritical. I thought all around it was a, it was a very good team performance and a very good away performance. You keep mentioning the team. I just want to mention uh, Liam Cooper. He came into the night. It seemed to really solidify the defence, and again today was outstanding. Yeah, we had to. We knew in this type of um, atmosphere and we knew with, against this quality of team that we would have to defend um, our box very well and we did it. We did it very well, we did it tactically, our shape was very good. We limited a very a very talented side to, to very few chances. Um, towards the end, I think the disappointment for me was, well it wasn't a disappointment, the only thing I can probably pick as a negative, we started to drop too deep but we had the result which tends to happen so had we not had the result you probably wouldn't have seen it, it's quite natural for the, for the players but we have to learn in those moments to not rely on us just defending individually in, 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 in our box. We have to get up and we have to keep putting the pressure onto the other team. So um, that's the only critical bit, but really that's me nitpicking. We were, we were excellent today in terms of our, our game plan and our team performance. And Sacco showing what a threat he can be down that right-hand side as well. Well, I think you've seen in all the games the threat, the talent, and the potential this young group have. I've talked about it. I don't just talk about it. I can see it every day with them. And it's, For me, the pleasing bit is the eagerness for them to improve and show it, you know, and, and taking it onto that pitch that little bit better every time. Um, there will be setbacks, 
it will be poor performances, but if we can get consistently our, our potential out of, out of these players, we'll be a very competitive team. So um, we're still working towards that. But um, no, today was for sure for all those players. We, it was another step forward. And personally for you, how delighted are you to get that first win? It makes no difference to me about myself. I'm focused on the players. Um, I'm focused on this team and developing it. And I'm working hard with them every single day and for my staff. Um, and that's what I do. You know, that's what I enjoy doing. And, um, I was pleased for the players today. I was pleased for my staff, and I was pleased for the fans. I think all in all, it was a good day. They can, the fans can enjoy the night. And we have an important week this week. We have a cup game coming in a couple of days, and we have a important game against Nottingham Forest before we go into the international break. We have to build on this performance and the ones before to to take it into the international break. No, Janssen today. Is he ready to play or? Yeah, just um, literally just needs a little bit more getting up to speed, a little bit more training time. Um, like a few of the others, just to get up to speed. Um, so no, he wasn't. He was available, but I didn't want to risk anything today. I was happy with with my, my squad and how we approached the game. So um, we went into the game very confident. And um, those guys will, will, like I said, it's a long season. There'll be lots of bodies on the on needed um, throughout the squad, and and he'll be part of it for sure. And all in all, in a, a very good day. Very pleased. Um, I'm a bit of a taskmaster. Um, I don't like to. Set back. I know how this league works, or every league, and how it can bite you very quickly. So we have to build on this, and we've done it in every game. We've showed improvements, but it's small steps. So I want to see another step on on Tuesday night against Luton in the cup, and then when we come to Forest, we need to see another improvement on top of that. And if we can do that slowly but surely, we'll get to somewhere where we want to be. But um, we've got a long way to go yet.